like this. This is how we break their illusion. Straight on the back of the cerebellum. Millivolt charge. And this is how you pay embrace and pay homage to the mother of Victoria's voltage. Tethering. Explanation to come. Right, when we're sitting at 640, 646, negative electric charge. Climbing back up there now. MV stands for our mother. Yeah? Why is this? V is V for vagina. V is four. M is four. 44. Yeah? This represents our mother. She's M for mother and she's four. Yeah? Base density. Now, voltage. She is superior voltage at 666 and 667 now. Superior supreme voltage. Alignment with this leads to activation of the spirit soul. It is triggered by superior supreme voltage. This superior supreme voltage removes imperfection and increases perfection. When we align this and use this to activate 96 electromagnetic mountain, we ignite the soul. And this is what MV stands for, millivolts. Voltage charge directly supplied by our mother. Superior, supreme, perfection. And this is how it is attained through the highest forms of alchemical magic at this point. Peace, love, and sentiment. So what we think is negative is positive. And what we think is positive is negative. I can give a clear explain, explanation of this by using the natural flow of nature and the natural flow of life within the sphere of the organic wisdom mirror. How is this? As we move into the, what we call double digits, the 11 reverses back into the two. The 12 reverses back into the three. The 13 reverses back into the four and the 14 reverses back into the five so what I just simply it's all very simplistic yet magical yet illuminating yet supremely advanced to recognize is that the positives go back into the negatives because you had the even numbers the odd numbers going back and reversing back into the even numbers. Now, it's always going to be a free for all. That's the best, the best way for me to do what I do is to do it totally free flowing without much thought pattern or process to what I'm actually going to be doing. That is how I've done every single video and that is how I, how I will continue to work and that is the, the way that the, the force and flow moves within me in order to make me be able to do what needs to be done. Now that sort of that sort of talk and um, sort of uh, sort of emphasis and and what one's doing is you, you you will have you can hear you we've heard this this sort of speak before. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. I will go into further detail as to why that is. Right. 
I always stated on the last series that I did on the um, uh, hypnotism, hypnotism caused by the moving mirror, yeah, um, that the nines, watch out for the nines and the fours, right? So on the ninth of the fourth, you had two deaths on the ninth of the fourths, what they call high profile um, deaths, right? Are they really deaths? They, they, this is a perception of the reality that he's given. Um, but you had, it was on the 99th day that one of their so-called royals, royals, um, passed away. And the 99th day of the year, at the age of 99. Yeah. And uh, in, at the same moment, they also, we also, they also used this, this like a slogan for an individual that you that they call DMX, right? DMX. In that name, in that name is containing six, six, six and four, sixty-four. Six and four, six of depends what you have in your sex for. Six four depends what you have in your sex for, right? That number is the key to all the, to all of existence to all of physical existence that we are uh, currently experiencing yeah we will also be going into into that at the same time too because that 64 is encoded within your dna at the same in the same token but that number on that date nine and four is of key significance yeah, and that is why that those actions took place on that on that day, right? You will see as I break this down uh, the things that are, that are coming up on the screen as well. Some of them they're not quite nice; they're quite frightening, but they're used deliberately. Yeah, the same way as what we had. What we had MAGA. Remember, we did MAGA. This was in that series at the start. And this was before they had a, a presidential election. But due to the occult work that, I, that I'm doing, that, that is being done, if you, if you follow it, it's leading you to a, a silent truth. Yeah? That lets you know about the, 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 the theatrical moving mirror that is playing out before your very eyes. And by doing that, it puts one in a state of a more tranquil flow because you are realizing realizing the, the the core truth that is hiding behind the the the, the 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 moving mirror which is making you ill if you pay attention to it because it is causing you to be ill see this is what the word illusion it's you you it's illus ions these are ill ions right now that continues to bring me on to where i'm at because, and that is why they use the 13. They get you to use to focus on the, the, the 12, but they focus upon the core, which is the 13th. If you take a 12 hour clock, what is, what is powering that clock? It is being powered from the, from the silent 13th. And that is a force that is being used. Yeah. So, positives are negatives, and negatives are positives. And they reside and they dance together in one. So, what do they do? How does this work? It works within the core of your being because like I just did at the very start of this, I took something, yeah, that in dual, in dual, when I'm encased in dualism, that would you would perceive, given the illusion to perceive it to be no good, bad, toxic, stinks, X, Y, Z. That is perception, that is projection that is coming from only within oneself. But it's also being handed to you, handed to you, yeah via nature also yeah it's being handed to you by by our, our mother right because she resolves and works in a, a victorious triumphant fashion and you have to we have to raise and meet that that grade in order for us to be able to walk upon this plane upon this plane yeah with our heads held high and we're never ever dancing in the rain yeah and she tells me and has told me very recently a lot of things the things that i present as one speak and speak about it come straight after astral and that's just the way that it is 
for me and the, some, a lot of and the other souls that are here at the same time at the same time also and she tells me that they do not recognize they do not dance with me in the night yeah which is the reason why they do not recognize my life and this is the process that is uh, that take, take, is currently being made to manifest and is taking place within the male sexual org sexual region within the male sexual organ she resides there the feminine force resides as Ida, like Mount Ida, right? Yeah, right. Mount Ida, yeah, which is where Zeus was was born on Mount Ida, Mount Ida, right? Now, Ida is also the feminine force, which is part of the serpent energy, which resides within your your sexual region. As a masculine, as a man, it resides there. So your sexual regions are feminine. And as, if, as a, a, a feminine, your sexual regions are masculine, right? And so then they are to be brought forward, yeah? And if they are not brought forward correctly, and when they're not embraced, then this is how we come up with this, this, this type of um, toxic uh, scenarios that we are currently witnessing, which is born out of a straight state of total confusion, yeah? This is where, this is where the, the, the core of these issues are being born from, right? In your low, in, in, in our sex, you know, from our low, lower sexual region, yeah. Now, what then, what, what will then take place if this is then ignored, which it is, which it is ignored, which it is ignored, yeah, and it is not done in the correct fashion, yeah, then the, 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 the poles of, magnetism which is what i'm speaking about yeah they 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 take over the with the intellect yeah and with a force with a force right with forces they take over so what happens is when you when we use what you call we call in the age during right i was going to explain this right there is a deep practice that gets used right so we think it's just the urine this is what we've been told now this is, I'm de what I'm doing here is de-occulting a deep practice that has been heavily occulted and that is still heavily occulted to an extent, but it's being brought into fruition through the subconscious mind, which means that even if any, we are not an adept, we have now been, we are now still able to actually use it because people like myself and other people are sort of not promote it, but push it out there from the soul. I, well, we're not all pushing it from the soul and this is what I'm going to speak about. You can work from the body if you work from the body and you don't work from the soul then you will never ever 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 be satisfied with what you find in matter and you will never be everlasting to you and you will always be chasing the next best thing always teaching it you can find this statement within the 60 61st 64th verse of the bhagavad gita also which we're going to speak about attraction and repulsion and tranquility these are forces of this plane on the 64 yeah syncretism we love it leads to the core of truth about even speak a few words and it's already it's already there but you have to have the, the sight to be able to gain the light yeah yeah so with the with what we have what, what is happening here yeah what is a feminine force as in masculine what is a feminine force a feminine force yeah like i say when it's had her wings clipped when she's had her wings clipped yeah it causes it, when they, they suffer with psychological damage right when they've had uh traumas yeah pushed and poked and prod yeah and pain is being thrown at it yeah and betrayal and everything else yeah and how is betrayal taking place betrayal betrayal takes place when we're not taught about the true workings of our organic vessel yeah so betrayal takes place, 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 takes place when we overly gratify the senses, for example, yeah, and then, so for example, when one is over, and they teach you to do this as well, so they teach you to become oversexed, yeah, this is what, what happens, if you get taught to be oversexed, that then be, creates a betrayal here, so what then happens, what then happens, we have now had this scorn, a woman's scorn, yeah, but imagine a woman's scorn, Imagine a woman's scorn, but that scorn is within 
they're masculine. Imagine that, yeah? So you've got the woman scorn, but residing within the masculine. So then what happens to him now? He then becomes subdued. He then becomes subdued. But at the same time, you are pulling at a pole of energy there, yeah? That make you continually go for that, yeah? So then now you cannot see the light in another, say like in a woman, for example, because you, you, only, you only look at her from a sex perspective, sexed perspective, because the pole of magnetism that you have triggered is not the negative pole. The negative pole is the pole that you want, that you want, that is going to provide you with the pleasant, the pleasant, calmed, happy, learned, grateful state, elevated state, negative. They trick, we trick the positive and then you don't know how to, and then that positive, it doesn't stop. It goes like this. It goes in one direction. Yep. And it's gonna go. So what did you do? You went lost. Boom. So now within all our within all our actions, that is what you see manifesting. Yeah. But then it, it it but then this is what you've been taught is the art of ejaculation, constant ejaculation. Yeah. So then energy is then being depleted and then a right is being created within, but then that right is being ignored because of the left hand the society, the left hand past society which we are in, which is telling you that this is the way to be. It is then becoming subdued, yeah. Then this masculine, this masculine, the, the feminine on the other hand, yeah, she is being, she's holding onto that masculine force. What does she do? She's spiteful and stubborn. Yeah, these are really, really inverted when they be these, 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 these polarities of magnetism, yeah, are not being manned. They're not being, they're not, we're not, we're not taking command of them, right? Yeah, like from the supreme being's perspective, she becomes spiteful and becomes stubborn and self-centered. And what she wants, she gets. We'll put that image up. Yeah, there's an image. This was August Sport bro. What then happens is because the masculine he doesn't have the courage because of the shame and the guilt that is within one's vessel, within the within coming from the brain, the mind, and the body. Now, yeah, it come, come from the shame and guilt. He doesn't have. Sophia's courage, Aurora's courage, that courage is now doesn't is has been diminished. So this this man, this being, yeah, because you're not it's not an organic way of being to an extent, right? This man, yeah, what is now happening? What is now happening? Yeah, is is that. He is then bowing down to this feminine, right? As he bows down to this feminine, to this feminine in the home, she is being taught that she is the the one that has to be, you know, she's everything that she says and she does. She's the one that has to be appeased. She has to be appeased, and this is what we they have been taught. What have been taught. Yeah, and it's, this is the, the intricacies, the deep intricacies. And then you will find statements like, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, happy wife, happy life, right? So, it's just the sun, yeah? It will just keep coming in and out of those clouds. It's dancing for us today. <laughs> yeah. Happy wife, yeah, happy life, right? Yeah, and then, through this, if you give that power to one that is not in command of their own forces within them, these are supreme superpower forces that even if you worked with the, we've worked with um, uh, neodymium uh, magnets, massive goals, right? Big power, massive Tesla force power. Yeah, you would have to know exactly what you were doing because you could cause some serious harm to an organic, to a living organism. Yeah, it is no different to our, our supreme vessel, which is what we are. So we're not looking, we're not looking at the, the mundane body from the surface perspective that has been given to us, which is what creates the AI, uh, which is part of the AI script, artificial script. Why is it an artificial script? Because you are only you are you, you are being given a surface um, uh, version of events, 
and this is what you have believed. So you, when you be, when you take that be lie, yeah, and you don't embark upon anything other than that, that now becomes your reality because it is stemming from your mind. Even the, what they call these chakras and meridians, they stem from the mind, yeah. And that's so this is what. So this is the situation that, uh, that 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 takes place, yeah. Now that's that interplay, yeah. So just through that wrongful sex, just through that sort of that viceful sex action, the wrong, wrongful sex action, the fallen, the fallen sex action, yeah, yeah. And it, in that verse 64 in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna does call it the, the, the fallen ladder, ladder fall, yeah. Might have the wrong way around turn on, it was one of the fallen ladder, right? And you're coming down this ladder, right? And then this is when you are then falling into 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 over over sense gratification yeah yeah because you are becoming hypnotized you become hypnotized by material matter which is being hypnotized like say in a sexed um, fashion so when the being when we come through initially there is no individuation between masculine and feminine through the sexual organs the organs are the same yeah and this is and so between your your, your penis and the anus yeah you have you'll have the, the vagina there as well yeah and that what we call vagina is actually called uh, the kanda yeah it's actually called the kanda right now that 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 kanda that kanda yeah is it actually sits you know, so this is the this kanda here right it sits right that's like I said in between your anus in between the anus and in between your uh, the gonads through the septum sexual region and it's like if you pressed it pressed it there you would feel it's almost where it's like where a vagina is yeah and in the feminine she has the vagina which is the clitoris which is actually nine to twelve inches long yeah right and these these, these they, they are there to be stimulated they're to be stimulated yeah to release a, a white and gold plasma through sex right and so the the kanda is the beginning of a new chapter because kanda sanskrit word kanda actually means chapter right but a chapter in a cathedral they have a chapter which is in latin it's chaptile chapter chapter which breaks down into capitulum capitulum what's a capital capitulum is the origin source origin well of a capital city which is the source of physical life physical so here this kanda right now this this kanda this kanda yeah is then connected to the corda equina which is the corda equina is is in latin means horse's tail which is sits at the bottom of your spine here yeah and it braids off braids off and this this region can carry it, it collects the sexual forces from the urethra urea urethra yeah Uranus it connects them right so I'm speaking right down here so I'll tell you positive is negative anyway right so if we got Saturn up here this is the seven and then you've got Uranus and so on right but then you will then find the what's at the top down below urethra ure, ure, urea yeah so then that brings me so then how do how does one then command and control this sexual this sexual energy this sexual force you should have this is positive and negative negative positive it is right for you to have a high sex drive it is not wrong for a man and a masculine and a feminine to have a high sex drive when we come in at the same time with a paradox yeah we are when we income right we are sexless right this is why sex power is soul power when we come through here we come through we're not sexed yeah we're androgen androgynous working with both yeah but then we can play the part to suit the theme to to with using you see it's all about intent yeah which is what plasma teaches you see because plasma teaches through action what it shows you how ether and how ether is aligned how the intent is in alignment with ether directly through your actions yeah so then when we we come we come through and this is why i'm saying this age during 
because I, I started about it might be about four years ago now with the age during yeah um, and they started doing a lot of, lot of uh, research and a lot of science research on it and everything else to state that it could be drunk because I was drinking it um, so that I wanted to put it out there to people that this was uh, the case and that we, we achieved that and myself and Lee Robert Molson set up a um, an age urine group we did yeah Lee good friend of mine yeah uh, so right the work that went involved into um, putting out the workings of the age during, yeah. In inside of that contained a lot of things such as the the, the, the using the, this this aspect of right is wrong and wrong is right to keep you away from this force. And why do I say this force? Sex power is soul power. There's three main forces that reside within it that create this. Yeah. Taurine arginine taurine reen argin taurine arginine arginine nine arginine yeah arginine yeah and uh zinc yeah those those three right now what happens is in the urea cycle there's an, an amino acid breakdown right from ammonia gets broken down, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the amino acids break down into ammonia, you know, so, so there's a connection, the connection between them two, that's why ammo, amino, is ammo. And when you fire a bullet, it goes up to 100, 100 I, don't know, I think it might be 1800 miles per hour, and then you've got a 22 calibre, and all the rest of it, nine millimetre, yeah, this is how it, how it, how it all, uh, all folds, unfolds and pans out. And I'm gonna put it on the screen as well, to show you how, Things taking place with nines and nines, the fours and everything, like a horror movie at the same time. And it's like a horror movie deliberately because positives are negatives and negatives are positives to bring you to a particular place and point. Whether that's in this lifetime or on, the, on a different return. Yeah. Um, so the, I was just saying, so the, the age you're in, yeah. Right. So the zinc, the, the um, but the zinc is the zinc plasma. The zinc plasma fields, right? <sighs> right, which is a Muller Prakriti, I've been saying, which is a crystonic semen, right? That does what, does what the what the zinc what the uh, the zinc does. The zinc has the ability; it does. It prolongs your it prolongs erection and it prolongs the the the, the, the duration that um that you can continue to have sex without ejaculation. A lot of people don't know this, and what I'm speak what I speak about about prolonging uh, about prolonging in order to release uh, higher upgraded states of orgasm yeah which are then transmutable is a is a, is an adept adept action that takes place by using by becoming experienced at using the age urine from the perspective of the soul not from the physical body yeah because if you use it from the physical body you will never you will you won't be able to see what other things that i'm speaking about these are the different worlds that are at play here real real yeah so the what well, so the zinc does does that right but this but the what happened before we got to the zinc we'll go back to the the arginine so the arginine gets created from the urea cycle the taurine is the most abundant amino acid in the heart the taurine has multiple functions it even it aligns with calcium to create new brain cells right and it, it, the, the taurine plays a part in your sexual gonads because the taurine removes oxidative stress in the sexual go in the gonads. The sexual region here, here and here, both of these two, yeah, are, get oxidized quickly, right? Why? Because we want to play this game. And if you're not fit to match it, then you will be oxidized, and then you will be made to re return. So, if you understand, if you in a stand, in a stand. <laughs> if you understand the true nature of this uh, reality then you will find that there is never ever anything to fear so what, we, so what we're saying here so the, the, this arginine gets created through this cycle what the, what the arginine does 
it triggers the um, arginine works with the um, it triggers uh, nitric oxide nitric oxide yeah goes through the blood vessels and then it ends up in your tunica tunica a tunica a tunica yeah a tunica is a is a garment yeah and then a a the the the, the tunic the tunic tunic a tunic they used to wear so the, the minoans the phoenicians and all them they used to wear a tunic around the waist as a as a garment yeah it's a bit like when you have a, you wear a belt which is bell which is connected to bowl which is bail which is a ball right right so but you got the, the tunica tunica is this so here you have the blood vessel and that you have the endothelium yeah and then you have and the, what this endothelium does it then creates the the no but it needs the arginine to create this no right which is nitric oxide right it then takes that and then sends it to the tunica media and then the and, the, and that's how and then the nitric oxide can continues so what actually happens here is 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 that we are we are relaxing relaxing um, the blood vessels and we are also stimulating the blood flow so what we are doing yeah what we are doing here and then you see this blood clots thing that you hear about or hypertension and stuff like that yeah it's because there's a lack of arginine and taurine but because it has been de it has been occulted from it's not in the script that's why i did it at the start of the video it's not in the script so if you're not if you're scripted even if you didn't use age during whatever it was you don't have to use it but if you was um not 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 scripted if you're scripted you're seeing a ah oh, god get him off god, that's it it's done that's why i do it so at that point then you would if it's not if 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 what i um uh speak about and expel isn't isn't um doesn't doesn't resonate with the being then they, they are not ready for that this level of knowledge yeah, because it, it, it is real because if you have wisdom you would know that I would be on the floor by now after four after five years of sniffing this age urine and using it in these processes that I'm speaking about yeah but if you have patience and you're not ignorant then by the time I get to the end of this you would have a clear scientific explanation as to what is actually happening there and then there will be nothing else to say yeah <laughs> right so the, the the so what this the arginine what the arginine does yeah I brought up again other multiple operations right and notch oxide is they look to remove the inflammation but what they do is they open up and they relax the blood vessels to let the blood flow right so this this here is how you get smooth smooth muscle relaxation yeah smooth muscle relaxation so it's also involved also involved within within the uh so it's so, so also involved within muscle relaxation inflammation is also involved in one of the other things that happens yeah once we trigger this arginine there's a cytochrome the cytochrome that sits in front of the cell like this and it guards stuff that's coming through yeah so what the night what the nitric oxide does triggered by the arginine it blocks it it pushes it straight out of the way to allow an, an, an all 100%. So where you put 75% of the nutrients and oxygen getting into the cell into the mitochondria, you've now got, because with the nitric oxide, it has removed the cytochrome out of the way now because you have the arginine, and now all the nutrients and oxygen can come flooding straight through. Yeah, flooding straight through, yeah. Uh, and that's because of the arginine, why that takes place, yeah. And then it, it is then going to stimulate the sexual region the zinc also if for the feminine the zinc releases hormones yeah that go into the blood vessel into blood vessels into the clitoris clitoris torus so here there's a force of energy here which i was speaking about which is in the, in the kanda yeah which is between the anus and the sexual region between yeah that's where um that resides and it is called a chapter it's called a chapter because you are you we have the the opportunity to create a new chapter so when they say um christ will say god will accept you they will accept you even on your last dying breaths it means now in the physical because you were having sex 
in the wrong way if Sodom and Gomorrah say for example right but it's you not to be judged for this because we have all done it right because that's what we're here to do this is highly negative and the, it's positive and the positive is negative and the negative brings us forward to bring us to that positive and this is why in the home we have this situation where a, a man is being subdued because there's an insinuation that he's supposed to bow down to this woman because he's a sexual animal who cannot control himself this is what's happening in the subconscious but he's not spoken about because there is no courage the courage and strength is not there so we have much much deeper issues here than just someone else who's doing it oh look what look what they're doing over there look what they're doing it's, 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 it's happening, what is happening to Jesus and Barabbas. So I've, I've just always stuck me for, a, for many, many years actually. Yeah, is when I seen it, yeah. It's how could they, they talk, Barabbas is a murderer. It might have been killing kids and everything, right? He was a murderer, that's enough, right? And they said to the people, you can either save this, this guy that says himself, he calls himself God, or you can save this, this Barabbas. And they choose to choose to save. Um, Barabbas yeah yeah so it tells you there it tells you there that because of the, the pole of the magnetism that the people are working with it means that they are, they would choose evil over good yeah they would choose evil over good and they, would, they were choosing evil over good before any of us came here in this particular lifetime so sometimes when we think oh someone's talking oh they're not saying what I want them to say unicorns and next one's head going to magic places and blah 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 overnight yeah it's it's not that they, it's not that it's just that that is the core truth of the reality that you are in because you are quite close to, 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 to you are quite close to what you call hell hellish planes yeah because it this isn't this isn't what we think it is yeah yeah we have a judgmental perspective on on the nature uh, of reality yeah and that but that judgmental perspective on the nature of, of reality yeah yeah it doesn't actually it isn't actually a reality it's just how we are perceiving how we are actually perceiving things and then because we perceive it in this way because we feel exposed that gets that gets played upon and that's how you can even end up in scenarios where there are sort of you get like pipe piper situations and stuff like that where people can play to your to your desires and play to your fears to make you think oh it's getting it you know what I mean? when in reality it, it isn't going to play out like the way that you like the way that you want it would want it to actually play out yeah in an easy way that's less harmful and so on and so forth yeah and that's why uh, we have to gain that strength and that courage and one of the ways that that strength and that courage gets gained gets gained is is via uh is via uh our, our, our sexual conduct is via our sexual conduct yeah so when I was just explaining about the, uh, the the way that the the endothelial cells, so when I was explaining how this the uh, end of endothelial cells um, work, yeah, is is to actually be able to command a, a a supreme force that has the power to take you out, yeah, or has the power it has the power to cause some of the horrific things that we see in this in this, in this place, yeah, it has the power to do that. Yeah, and this is why we have to learn to look towards our pain in a triumphant, in a in a courageous strength. Yeah, with 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 sort of with the, with the vigor and the and the with the non non faltering um, gaze gaze upon it in order to recognize it for what it is, not to fear it and to run away from it. Yeah, and that's what we are subconsciously doing in many ways and we have been doing is running away from ourselves and running away from what we really truly are a supreme immortal being that flies and comes crashing into the dirt in order to play a game doesn't 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 fear doesn't fear uh this the, the the little things yeah or doesn't 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 fear the onslaught of forms of negativity that have to be recognized in order for us to grow and deal with them so that's what I was, so that one i was speaking earlier about um the uh the the man in the home with the woman etc that is being brought about through the sex but it's being brought about deliberately in order for for one to actually take that battle on board the battle of good in order to diminish 
the bad and the evil in order to bring it forward into the light so that it can be so that it can be rebalanced again yeah and that is what is what isn't taking place and so then when you it's not take place because you, you only it's only born through um realization yeah it's only born through that uh realizing realizing about what we are about what one is yeah that is so that is the way that acts but so the end of then the filial cells yeah so the taurine yeah along with the arginine the two of them balance the heart if some of these if you have an arrhythmia or something like that or a regular heart rhythm they would be the taurine and the arginine that would where they would look to would menace the taurine and then put arginine on top of it to try and nullify to try and nullify that those forces are within the urine so what i'm saying is they provide they go directly to to the source of your sex to the source of the root imagine that and it comes from the urine is coming from there so it, so so divinity is telling you there clean through supreme wisdom that it's here look it's coming straight from from down below as they used to say years before years ago now which is being re-looped which is carrying on the, the field like this <laughs> yeah so when we take that that, uh, that aged urine what we're doing what's actually happening we take it we take it out and then we age it you are grasping hold of the soul within the bottle because the soul resides within the blood yeah and this is why it then carries it then generates its own magnetic field yeah so an electric field is is measured in vm's volts per meter yeah and then that's the, the weaker one and there's a strong one that's but measured in kilovolts per meter i did this before we did before kilovolts and um uh, millivolts right so we have the kinesthetic down below here people that need so when they go ah oh, let me think about it because they're kinesthetics you see so they go like this ah oh, i don't know let me let me think about it yeah and then they think they look down towards their gut to think about it yeah right and then what happens is you we then have the lens was got to think about it that leads to something else and then we have we have to have then is the visualizers the visualizers right and they go oh do you know what they like to think about it yeah the v eyes and the k eyes feelings yeah and vision right these are master numbers but in your gut which brings me on to the next is is our um when we have people have probiotics right so in the in the gut right the harmful microbes in the gut that cause uh, major issues within the brain and and so on and so forth right now so you use probiotics to try and uh, 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 you know balance this area in the digestive system in the gut but what happens is because they like the yogurts and stuff like that they then it triggers acidity because it's food in the stomach so they get killed so they never get there what does get there and they feed this negative charge this negative charge yeah nourishes the gut yeah which is where a lot of the problems stem from right and it, it does it through the negative charge negative ions the negative charged ions yeah then they, those negative charged ions are only in, are in the age during yeah and they get through because they don't trigger the stomach so they get they manage to get through these to, to, to these air robes yeah these air robes uh, and and that's and then it then clears out the bad bacteria that are in there because viruses and bacteria are, are diminished through negative through negative charged ions negative charge so in this atmosphere that we are in now we we are we are we are within we are within an illusion yeah we're in a, uh, in a, uh, an illusion an illusion and the reason i say that to you the reason i say that we are in this illus ill os ion because the ions in in here are making them ill yeah but, and the reason that they make them ill is because you, they don't we don't recognize we have not recognized where or what we are in any way shape or form so a beings that were looking from outside of this place would go look this is a very well, look at this very um, peculiar scenario the beings that walk around down there they walk around in ignorance to that which creates the 
the, the, the paradigm for which they are currently experiencing. And because of that, they, they turn their backs and deny that which is looking to lift them up and save them. And not just save them, but is looking to advance them and have them ascend. It is, why, why are they doing, why are they actually doing that? Well, there's a manipulation that takes place to make that happen. But at this time, all in all, they are still doing it, right? So what, so what we have is the negative ions. And the positive ions, the positive ions will make you irritable, they make you angry, yeah, and uh, make you make you depressed, make you upset, all of these things. The negative ions do the opposite. The negative ions will bring you pleasure, happiness, joy, all of those things. Yeah. What is the negative ion? The negative ion is the negative charge that you find within the age that you're in. Yeah. The positive protons is connected with the positive charge. Even like, see, I'm going to do some other videos and it will show you that the plasma is a very different thing. The real, the plasma, not the body plasma, but the, the actual, the atmospheric plasma fields, the magnetic fields, very different. They have massive um, pH. They have massive pH. Yeah, uh, which is very important. Um, but they have. Because the enzymes, like the enzyme stuff like that, they, they require this this the high pH. The, the, the high pH is a measurement of the magnetism of the magnetic field, the energy that is within it. It's measured by its pH. So the, the less, the lower the pH, the, the more diminished the, the field is. Yeah, the more diminished the field is. And there are people that can see this the the aura the auric field. I've worked with the auric field. I can f do it through intuition and uh, through in my emotional field because that's what I am, I have Scorpio Moon, but I stand up and do these videos in this sort of dumb, dumb, dumb fashion because I'm Aries rising as a Cancerian. Yeah, yeah, but I have Scorpio, Scorpio Moon, right? Yeah, which gives me a magnetic aura, yeah. But at the same time I work with um, that, the, um, the emotional body and the, emotion, the emotional field, yeah. So in terms of your actual, your actual, the, 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 the emotional field itself, so the, you it's it's something that you could the more that we the more that we grow we become more sensitive to it and we become more ultra sensitive so then you have beings um uh, indigenous beings and stuff that can actually see it so then they can tell you if you were sick because they can see your field because it's diminishing because it's darker darker in places the color they do it by i was on about the video last one it was on about with the colors are not what we think they are yeah and they see it via the actual colors so as we were saying, so it, this magnetic field, the magnetic field, then all in all, yeah, was encased around the uh, that that urine. It then it then increases. It then increases in its magnetism, its strength, right? And it it, it increases and it obviously increases its negative charge because the negative ion is a byproduct of the fields of magnetism. So they operate in the same fashion, and that is we don't know. About magnetism, we know about the negative and the positive ions in the atmosphere. Yeah, so we know that you know you want to get out into into nature and get out, and obviously you know you put your feet on the floor. If you comb your hair with a rubber comb, you increase the negative negative ions. And I've seen you know you know some stuff actually many years ago, like pictures and stuff in Mexico. Yeah, in tribe and stuff, and you just sit around water pools. These are men. Imagine this. Look men were combing other men's hair it's always stood out to me like they were combing their hair and stuff like that you know where they're combing hair their appearance and stuff yeah because they're not sexed we would they would go here look at that man over there he must be he's got to be a gay or something yeah, yeah. right but <laughs> that's because we sexed in many ways when you do that but then you have this because of the oversexed nature then you have the mutations that you are rapidly seeing now that we knew would take place as well uh, going back many years ago we knew that it would take place this um over mutation of sexual gender and stuff like that and that is born from the imbalances in the magnetic field that that is being um that this, this happening to people yeah that is where that actually is born and where that comes from right so 
the so with the so with this this age during it now develops and the reason why i'm doing this as well is i've noticed that a lot of people they, they don't know they don't understand the esoteric occult um version of events when i speak about age during initially it was going to name the age during group the blood of the blood of christ yeah but because of the scripted version of events some people find that we find it to be offensive because they didn't understand the, the core the true blueprint behind it that you are the christ there is no man called jesus christ was walking around there's only there's only you right <laughs> and you have and you have the christ within you and your your this that christ resides resides within um within your blood and we have the chance to renew the christ or kill the christ kill the christ renew kill the christ yeah and that's what they do they keep killing the christ killing the christ killing the christ and then you have to keep coming back keep killing the christ yeah and so oil fish so the oil is chrism is risen it's almost like fish so then you get the symbols of the fish yeah if you then connect to pisces as well but then this waters it is all leading back to this right to this to this this thing with the sex but this this age jewelry and then what it does it teaches you this it teaches you this yeah because then what what's actually happening like i say it is you it is you so if i take light light right crystallized light light has to be coming from somewhere right so you can only know that organic light is coming from somewhere divine yeah this light here interacts with all of this all of the seven planetary bodies that reside within their own sphere of influence yeah and so so saturn being the furthest away from that from this from this this light that comes directly from the heaven right from the heavens yeah that it is would be the coldest because it so it would be dry now because it is furthest because it comes furthest away far away from that light yeah but i can see that knowing standing here knowing that i'm at the center of the universe as the center of all things so therefore if i was at the center of all things that would mean that i must be for me to manifest here i'm manifested here as frozen i am light frozen and if i'm frozen light then i must be and in, in, in i must be coming from the eternal limitless right limitless uh planes outside of this outside of this um matrix and this this matrix isn't just here it's the seven this 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 there's the seven layers to this the seven layers to this before one can leave this and this is why the level of ignorance level of ignorance is so high and is seen as a bliss because it enables one to keep one away from doing the work that is bestowed upon them yeah yeah and that is why it's actually is actually um uh take take it is actually taking place yeah so that light must be so that light must be frozen yeah so what you see here in front of us ourselves myself standing here now is light that has been frozen so if that light if that light has been frozen if my light is frozen i am frozen light and i'm in limitless and in the, in the eternal what that i must that light now be, the substance of that light is also frozen the substance of that light which is frozen must contain superior forces in order for me to have been eternal in the first place or for me to even be standing here outside of your schooling curriculum yeah 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 so that's that so then that frozen light is then anything that comes out of me is pure eternal light yeah it's pure eternal eternal christic light because the light of this sun is residing within my vessel because this this light here yeah is, is a projection is a projection coming from yeah the the absolute supreme yeah um uh, you know heavens even heavens is not you know this is Vrindavan, you know brahmachai these were but the even Sometimes there is no words to describe the absolute total perfection of where of where we are um, stemming from. 
where, the, where that light is, where the, this light is stemming from, where this light is being projected, being projected from. Yeah, it's where the light is being projected from. And that light is our mother's light. Yeah, which is Aurora. She is the mother of, of light, which is Dia, Bom Dia in Portugal. They say, um, you know, there's a word for daylight. Yeah, or Aurora. Yeah, is 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 a word for is a word for that light also. Yeah. So I must be a son of the light. Yeah, the son of man. Yeah. I am. You are your father's son. This is just the father's son. You are the father's son. Son of the father. Yeah. So if I'm my father's son, then my light is then going to be crystal, crystal, uh, crystal light crystallized crystallized light yeah and it is so when i then expel this light it is my my soul essence yeah and then when i've captured it and then when i use it this is what you will see so what happens is it subdues the positive magnetism in charge because it is highly negatively electric negative charged negatively charged yeah electrostatic is 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 its expression yeah which is only a hybrid of the more superior forces within it yeah a la ken wheeler right so right because of that because of that because of that means that what happens is when i rise up in with the light it is a red light when i rise that red light wants to wants to heal, yeah, it wants to heal. But the, the green light wants to sustain, right? Which is green is connected coming towards blue at twelve o'clock. So when it comes to sort of twelve o'clock now, when it comes to twelve o'clock, your 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 the the actual sexual regions. So the penis I can only speak about because in this particular vessel. Well, you see, I can speak about knowing the feminine, yeah, because I'm knowing the feminine. Of what the feminine part of what the feminine is because it is within within us within me within us once you recognize it and embrace and, and activate it and allow it to thrive yeah in the night so once it then once that age you're in then goes into that into that region it then subdues that but whilst it's subdues, this is the paradox whilst it subdues this whilst it subdues it it also accelerates your sexual force but it is allowing you all of the muscles and everything become relaxed yeah, really relaxed when we use this zinc the zinc plasma the zinc is key it is connected to your senses which is directly connected to your magnetism so whilst it increases your libido the zinc it also improves your sense of smell as well and this is why when you know when you know by knowing what's what I'm hearing certain things getting said, like blood clots and smell to smell and know, over the last year or so, whatever it may be, and and you know these are deficient, these are caused by deficiencies, used by or deficiencies of the forces that reside within nature that are there to s allow us to thrive, that are there, but they will only do that once we recognise them. This is what she's like, you see, Sophia, because she also has her fallen aspect as well. But she, why should I give it to you if you're not worth it? Why should I give you this if you don't recognise my light? You embrace me for who I am. Yeah, and that's how it is. If they are operating with courage, and they should, then it should be given to them, not to you. Yeah, because they are because it is being operated by something else in that way. Yeah, what you call the they is created by our, by the self by us. But it's still it's, it still now exists because we have created it. Yeah, you cannot say that it doesn't it doesn't exist because it is too loud for you to say that uh, it, it doesn't exist. And to say that it doesn't exist would be to be edging towards denial, which is in this become creating a stagnation, which is coming embarking in the area of fear. Yeah, so to know also with the workings of um, magnetism it's everything it's everything yeah 
it's a, it's a, so you we have to do something called even when it comes to um love making and relationships relationships sorry even when it comes to relationships yeah it's based on magnetism i call it cupid magnetism cupid is magnetism that's what cupid is it's magnetism so if the forces repel each other then there's nothing that can be done because they will repel and that is it if if one commits suicide at the age of 30 yeah then what will happen is then you will return you will not reincarnate it's not reincarnation it's re you have to return you have to come back go again and return reincarnation is when one a supreme being who becomes realized elsewhere on a different plane or on this plane recognizes and realizes that and then it then chooses to jump back into the game to to go back into the game to perhaps complete complete a mission yeah or complete what needs to be completed yeah everyone other people other beings then if that doesn't happen they become unconscious and they don't realize that outside of here where you are is what you call the dead but they don't call themselves the dead because they don't know they're dead because they're unconscious because when they was here they never became realized and they never they never made a discovery yeah and because of that and because of that yeah what actually happened what actually happened yeah is 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 is, is, is that uh, when they see their own dead body yeah when they see when you see your own dead body when you're dead you don't recognize it or accept it to be you yeah so how can you then move forward if you don't accept the nature of your own reality everything that i speak about is written that comes from the grandmaster yeah everything because we don't deal we don't want to deal with lies knowingly or just rubbish knowingly we leave that to the cardboard character a cardboard character to want to live in uh, an illusion and have somebody tell you that something is what it isn't in order to appease your the, the lack of ability to want to command your own reality yeah all right so th this is this, this is what is actually um what is actually where that is taking place so then what happens if we then i then take that that you're in like i say and the more this has to be done every single day every day what is written about raising a chrism, a Christ within, and, and all these other things, right, that you may have heard yet or may not have, yeah, that it can take over lengthy periods of times, right? If you embark upon this work correctly, with deep devotion and, uh, uh, and, and a type of focus, right, and, and also that you're dedicated, dedication, over constant durations, right? So you're waking up, you're using this urine. This is what I've been trying to say to people for a little while now. You use your penis in your gonad area. They drink, they piss. Because you sip piss through your vessel. That's why sip is hiding in the word piss. Yeah? Something else is overlaying this reality. It's not what we think it is. It's all intertwined. Yeah? That's why David Bowie, yeah, was singing about Kanye West being born five years before he was born in 1972 with this above his head it says k west he's telling you a star a black star is going to be born because they they are working off their their own ritual here long standing and it's being conducted from outside of this place and that's why these things take place on these set set points and moments such as on the night of the fourth yeah you had this scenario yeah and then you have you'll have all the beings then i've seen some in the uh, out and about so we were talking about it they were saying oh no um I'm awake now like these masons and all that are these people so it's it, this was already being said that this would happen that beings would become aware of their reality not realized just aware of the reality and that suits suits them suits what they want because they can if i'm if i have a, a level of knowledge that you don't have and the level of abilities that you don't have i can then and if if, if you are hypnotized by my pattern my flow by the movement of my of the way i conduct my energy yeah i can make you accept and buy into a new version of events letting you think that you are unfolding it for yourself 
difficult. Yeah. And that is the point um, where you're at, where we're at, the point where we're, at, where we're heading to, the point where we are. It's not something like they do in this situation here, no. And I will say that it doesn't, if it, whatever you can consent to, it will become your reality. And that is it. If you don't, whatever you don't consent to, it won't be. And that's why now you're seeing Glitch 2020, like I said, which is beings that want to continually live back the old way and will do anything to have that. So this is why it's so easy to predict when you're wrecking up from my perspective, from where I'm standing, watching it for a very, such a very long time. Yeah, it's, I'm working on it, yeah. It's so easy to pick that if, if I take you and say to you, listen, right, <laughs> everything you do is by, you're, hypn you're, you're hypnotized by matter. I've only got a threaten to stop you. I've only got to threaten to take away some of the, the pleasures and the entertainments that I give to you that you perceive to be things that you thought of as your own but they're not. I socially engineered and socially planted them in there so that you want to strive and think you're succeeding in something. But really that isn't success because it's just, you're just attaching yourself and you're pulling yourself into material matter, to material density. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what you're doing, right? Yeah, so that is the way that, um, that is the way that, 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 that is actually um, playing out. Yeah, if you, if we think that that is the actual the actual case and we think that and they, they think that um so then you you buy into these things yeah you'll buy into these things if i present to you like you can't do this and you can't do that what's going to happen now you're going to oh no i need to do this and do that so then you can take this and do take this into that in order to do that because you you haven't you haven't aligned yourself and assigned yourself with the core true version of reality the core true version of what you really truly are and like i say so this this one practice this practice with this age during it creates this is what it's doing there is nothing that can then pull me away from this because i am using this light which is like this light is stemming from my soul because the only reason that you are standing there yeah is, is because your soul is manifested and is built a master your soul is a master builder so you take the terminology and then they use it and then they occult it and then they, and they put it out in certain ways they go, look at this is that this is ours and we and we're bad because we do bad things and so on and so forth over the course of a period of time yeah but really i stole it from you which is, and it's your light and you're the supreme being the superhero but i stole it from you so, to, to, so that we, you can play this game yeah so the soul is the master builder is the one that builds the physical vessel using the the minerals of the earth in order to do that so it uses the four in order to achieve that and in order to in order to get that done yeah right so that's why i'm saying this that's why i'm saying this so the like i was just saying so we, in terms of the, uh, the, the, the those, those three forces that was within the urine, on top of that was this negative polarity. And this negative polarity, the negative polarity, and this negative is really a positive because what it's going to do, it's going to give you the ability to, to want to learn. This negative charge provides that in a potent fashion. Everything here is limitless. Someone asked me, what do you mean by limitless sort of thing? And that's what, this, this is what I mean by limit. It's only when you become a true adept, right? And you become a true, start to master, become a master of your reality, which is what it says in, in verse 64 in the Bhagavad Gita, right? Yeah, it's when you become a master of your reality is when you're, you're not attached, you don't become, you, you, you can look, your intellect doesn't buy into the material and the material doesn't own or govern you, yeah? You are governed from your own state, from, with, from, from within you. You need nothing outside of self, which is something else I'll be saying. Yes, several years ago, and it's like, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I did a video once and I said, I said that, I said that there is nothing outside of self and it's like, it wasn't gut, right? And then, and now, right, you can see that. It doesn't matter where I am, what matters is, is what is happening within here, and so when they when they talk about this, the 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 the, uh, the fifth element, yeah, they are now doing it. They are now stating it. 
team of scientists working on a project in the United States say that they have discovered strong evidence for the existence of a new force of nature. They say that some subatomic particles, called muons, don't behave in a way predicted by current theories of physics. The British funders of the research say that scientists are on the precipice of a new era of physics. Our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh, has the story. The theories of modern physics have given scientists a new understanding of how the universe works. But the current ideas aren't able to solve some of the biggest scientific puzzles, such as how the universe as we know it came into existence. Now, scientists at Fermilab, a particle accelerator just outside Chicago, have got a result that might take us a big step forward in answering those questions. They've been accelerating particles inside this giant ring close to the speed of light, and they found that they might be behaving in a way that can't be explained by the current theory of physics at the subatomic level. We found that the interaction of a muon, which is a heavy electron with a magnetic field, is not in agreement with our current best theory of physics. And clearly that's very exciting because it potentially points to a future, new laws, new particles and new forces in physics which we haven't seen up to date. You've heard of electrons. Well, there are similar particles called muons, which are much heavier and spin like tops. In the experiment, they were made to wobble using magnets. The current theory suggests they should wobble at a certain rate. Instead, they wobbled faster. This might be caused by a mystery force that in turn is created by another yet-to-be-discovered particle. Scientists believe that there are four fundamental forces of nature. One for gravity, another for electricity and two nuclear forces which control the behaviour of atoms. Together they explain the way the world works. But in recent years astronomers began noticing things in space that can't be explained by the four forces such as galaxies spinning faster than they should. And they can't explain why the stars and planets and everything on them, including us, exist at all. The new results suggest there might be a fifth force which could explain some of these mysteries. I think it's quite mind-boggling and they have the potential to turn physics on its head. Uh, we have a number of mysteries that are, remain unsolved and this could give us the key answers to solve those mysteries. Evidence for the fifth force has been growing just two weeks ago, researchers at the Large Hadron Collider just outside Geneva had a similar result. The race is really on now to try and get one of these experiments to really get the proof that this really is something new. They will take more data and make more measurements um, and hopefully show evidence that these effects are real. These very early results aren't definitive yet, but they are generating a lot of excitement about the prospect of a giant leap forward in our understanding of the universe. So, one of the things that we need to state about uh, magnetism, and, the, and it will become, you know, into fruition um, as we continue, because the true forces that govern this reality have to come forth anyway, yeah? And, and the, the magnetic fields within that are the core basis of that, yeah? Because they, they come together, which is what forms any form of physical matter is then formed is informed, uh, is actually formed by it. But the way that the magnetism works is if, if, he was, if I was walking on a tightrope, right, if I focus upon me walking on the tightrope, that is what will make me fall. Yeah, magnetism works like a spot. Imagine if you've got a spot, right, and then you go up and squeeze that spot. Or if you go and pick that scab, I said this before, go pick that scab and you squeeze it and you pop it, right? Well, you're not, well, you're not. But you put your focus upon it. So anything that we focus upon will grow in that way. So we shouldn't, so this is why they get, this is why beings are made, are made to focus upon the self, yeah? Because they're using your magnetism against you. Because when you focus upon yourself, when you focus, when you're, you're, what you're doing now is you're putting focus upon one thing, yeah? And then that positive magnetism makes that, expands that but it mutates that, so it becomes too much, right? That's why you have like Instagram and all these people, and that's why they look like that, by the way, because they put in too much focus upon one thing, which is the self, and what magnetism does, what it look, encourages is, is that you, you focus upon everybody else and everything else, and it works via sympathy, and that's why we need this feminine force, 
as the uh, governs with, from the position of authority because they have the same thing. It is said that a child that is dying, yeah, brand new child, for example, the mother is the one that can um, use, can, through the thymus gland, they can connect and create a connection, yeah. And she can, through sympathy, through sympathy, deep, deep sympathy, she can reverse that situation. One of the things when the woman is going into labor, they actually start to moo. And the moo, half or the cow, the cow is, is a feminine symbol. The feminine symbol is of the bull, yeah. But look at that. The woman actually moves like moo, like a cow would moo. And the cow has um, strong emotion, yeah. That's deep, deep and strong um, emotion, right. So, in a second, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start doing, start looking at these boards, right? But there's there's a few, there's a few things in there. Even when, you know, ignorance being bliss, right? That that comes about, yeah. That is that is being made to come about, right? This is a cause and effect. What we see now is a cause and effect response to denial of one's own reality. So it mutates itself to when mass confusion takes place it's, it's been made to take place so it's not just a scenario that it's been taking it's starting happening right this second these are these are scenarios this is a scenario that has been building up been building up and happening happening right for for thousands of years yeah and this is why you know none are born righteous it's something that has to be earned it's something that has to be looked upon and earned Right, I had this something called, I've, I noticed it since I was uh, as a child, yeah, there was like a, I call it prison guard copper brain, right, where there's this incessant desire or a, a, need, a feeling or a need to have to control other beings and they plant it into the kids at school. When I was, in, as a child, I always knew that it was something different, right, but it was, it, it was, uh, given to me and told instead of no you're just you're naughty it's just naughty you're naughty mate because <laughs> if you so we'll say to you look ah oh, there's there's always for example there's always one that turns up late there's always one that that turns up late and then what they would what would happen is all these these are the these are the beings in this class they would all turn around and look towards me like this like and i think why are you what are you looking at why why are you looking at them? You know, why this this guy says one word and you their their heads instantly turn like he's the naughty one, Tim. And they still do it, they do it now. This is what happens. Yeah? So people they have this this copper brain thing where they have to be uh, in control of what others in what others are doing. Yeah. And that and that comes from this not working with this this not having any negative chart, this negative magnetism force within them it's not coming it's not being made to it's not it's not happening and that's why i'm speaking about this age during as well today because it's phenomenal and when you put it then you you it then goes through your sexual regions but it doesn't just go every single duct with you have ducts all over your body so wherever you place a liquid and this i've been studying this and it works as a stone cold for years now it works and then the plasma came along and you do it with that yeah, and it works, right. So then what, what, what happens is, not only are we, you, you, you've just used the sink, this sink, right, is gonna put you in an emotional bliss. And it, it's going to rebalance your emotional state. Yeah, because that's where you need to be in order to find this hidden force, this third force, yeah. And this, this, third, this third force is, is fed on tranquility. And pure and, and, a, and a tranquil nature. That is what feeds this um, the third force. It is fed via that. Yeah. Without without that, then you have any type of uh, noise or racket or uh, um, negative moods and so on and so forth. In terms of being, you know, all of that angst. These these get brought on by the positive charge, which I'm going to which I'll show you. We're coming up because. What happens on the other side, on the one side, is the opposite on the next. So what happens on the negative side, yeah, is the opposite effect on the positive side, yeah. So you will get where you you feel, on one side you're getting pleasant, yeah, 
and then increase on this side it's there's a lot of irritated irritate irritate i'm going to put it up so you can you can be able to see it anyway yeah so you become irritated by what we can see in front of us yeah and that's how that's how um that's how how it, how it works right you be you be you be get you be get that a lot of the a lot of the, the things that are born from it are exactly that yeah it's exactly as it as it is you will you 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 will become ira erratic yeah irritated and this is the situation that we are seeing out and about yeah people becoming they're sort of erratic and they are irritated and they're irritable irritable because because of because of the workings of the uh the work the workings of the actual field yeah that's what's actually happening now i'm just going to just pull up i just want to pull up a part of this um yeah i'm going to pull up a part of this um verse um 64 right so it says but the one whose mind and senses are under control yeah senses are under control is devoid of attraction or revulsion yeah he moves around objects and gains the state of tranquility having gained tranquility all of his sorrows are destroyed yeah in any particular moment that then brings me on to the boards <laughs> that minute with these boards they still don't get completed so i'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that right now right so so here so on this on this board here i'm gonna just jump straight into this one the numerology speaks for itself so renewal so re is do again so re new and etymology re brand new all of you but all of you your all is your 33 which is your master number there yeah but to renew all it has to be done you get renewed yeah up up here yeah so when i you see me i took this this what i do you're taking this this uh this this voltage charge this vm charge right and then it's going in and renewing this sexual region here and then it then goes onto the back of the cerebrum that's why i put it here so i put it here on the cerebrum here yeah on the cerebrum and then it comes down here yeah and then all the way down the cerebrum is a balancer so your balance this is where you're going to get your balance in your physical your physicality from here right here right so it's coming from it comes from here and then you coat it across the whole of the vessel then when you go outside you then tether with the electros it's cold and that's why the, this this the actual the actual age itself is cold yeah so then it, it is then tethers with the electrostatic negative negative charge ions which are in the atmosphere yeah that's that that is what happens and then you will be start to feel renewed instantly because of your working with the negative magnetism which is pulling away any death that is within there but it is accelerating your the sexual life force through the blood flow because it is the soul is contained within the blood contained within the body plasma yeah <clears throat> But what happens is when you re, re ingest this aged urine, having stored, having let it grow its magnetism, having let it expand its magnetic field, yeah, what then happens is, is then it then goes back through the blood vessels and renews the system, yeah, it then renews it. So then now you become renewed, and then what happens is your need to uh, ejaculate. If you use the zinc plasma, becomes then diminishes. See, this is the paradox. This is why positive is negative. So your erection and your hard on becomes revitalized and his performance is gained. But but your need to ejaculate and your need for sex is diminished because you have created a fl a relaxation through your smooth muscles through the blood vessels that reside within your endothelium cells and uh, which is in the tunica 
right? These is all stone colders, stone cold here, right? Mixed, and then we mixed that taurine with that RG9, as we were saying, right? So that's why renew all, renew all, yeah, is actually comes to 33. So the word renewal means 33, basically. That's what re renew renewal is. So it's telling you there, and then you gain in new sight. So when you are out and about, all of a sudden, you are not pulled in. You are not attracted. You're not accelerating, because there is no attraction. You're not accelerating towards uh, sense gratification like you were previously. Yeah, you now have you now in the relaxation of the vessel because you have interacted with the core inside of your internal garments, inside of your blood vessels. Yeah, you are now created a you created this uh, relaxation. Yeah. But at the same time, you've increased energy because it increases energy production along with, and a lot of this is happening here. So, along so with the kidneys, so then you are re, you, there's a re feedback loop between the sexual organs, between the penis and the kidneys. So, the kidneys is what is providing the balance with sodium, potassium, right? And they're providing that, they're providing that balance, but you're refeeding them. They want you to refeed back. They go, hang on a minute, we're giving you what you're not giving us nothing back. Because you've been taught to throw away and to waste. Yeah? And waste is like it's, it's like a vice, like a, like a crime. You know, like a sin. Waste. That's what waste is. Yeah. So yeah, that's what that's which is what is which is what is happening. So then you refeed back that loop back through the kidneys, right? So you're recharging the kidneys and you're not ejaculating, which is then recharging them, right? So you are you are an individual, aren't you? Not. Okay? So you are in die to thy your mother, and you are a jewel. You are a jewel. So an individual is a jewel, and that's why an individual is six because six is sex, and it takes two to create the sex. Yeah, yeah. But you can do it even with yourself, which is your mind and your body. Yeah, as long as you you're doing it not to ejaculate, you don't make the ejaculation. You've got to always be flipping the current, 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 flipping the current. So the, the the electrostatic charge is a flow of current. Electric field, electrostatic electric field is generated by an an electrostatic flow of current. Right. So that, so and then this is why you become a divided jewel. You are divided individual die. Div, 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 in divided jewel, yeah. You're in the, you're an individed jewel, yeah. Right. You you then have your a novel. So this is why they say novel. But nov nov is the eleven, yeah. And so novel l l is the l Saturn God, right? The l right. But a nova is like a supernova. Supernova, which is happening in the sky. You see, new beginnings, supernova, right? But then you see, you have a crown. This is what I was saying. In the Bible, it tells you that it was this, this four and twenty, four and twenty um, angels with crowns, yeah. And those and what they do, they crown, they hand down, they pour out this light, this light, which is what is pouring down from your crown. Because if you, if I take a crown, if I take a if I take your crown. So I chop off your crown and hold your crown up towards the crowd. Yeah? See, what is a crowd? A crowd is connected to a crown. Because a crowd is a crowd of crowns. That's what a crowd, the word crowd is, means. So when you have a crowd of people, really have to attain that because you have a crowd of crowns all looking up, watching. Yeah? And the crown, the magnetic sphere here, is always active. So if I if you chop off your head, they used to chop your head off and put it up to the crowd because they knew you could st and you could still see the crowd. How did they have that knowledge? And that's why they see all these words intertwined. Crowd and then a crow. A crow is called a crow because a crow, what the crow does is the crow cries. Yeah? So a crow, a crow, a crow is crying. Yeah? Which is what, which is what we're going to, which is crow, is crow's waters, which is cry, cry, Christ in your waters. Yeah. And this is, and then you have row inside there. So you are, you can row, 
bro, bro, bro. You both gently down the stream, yeah. Life is but a dream, yeah. Then that's why all of these words here are, are all born from a crown. A crown has to be worn, yeah. And it has to be owned. You own it, yeah. And you want it. And you do it now. Now, see? Now. Because there is only now for the crown, yeah. So that's that's where that was, and then this was, we had the protopla the protoplasm from the last video, right? Protoplasm is first organized form, and the protoplasm works in the, like a Fibonacci the phi uh, spiral spiral fashion, and it pulses and it's fully conscious, and it's made out of those four: the carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. And there's the first form, first form of life, which comes from a gaseous form. This is why I'm going to do it in another video. This is why you have something called ectoplasm, which is all this is all to do with spirit, spirits. Yeah, because plasma is a spirit. Yeah, and the elementals get created by your sphere. We we create that, and that's why you look at some people and think, no, that, I've, this is that copper brain I was saying to you. They look at you like, I've had, I've had it before. People look at you like you've done something to them, and you haven't done anything to them. Because <laughs> they're like, because they've got vampires. Yeah, vampires, self-created vampires that torment you, that torment you, and they are they operate within within your field. <laughs> yeah, because you've created them, because you created you created your own reality. Yeah, and that's why you have so here. Yeah, and that's why we have this, this. So elementals, these elementals are one. The word elemental, elementals is one, because it's taking you straight back to spirit, as we were saying, which is ETs. ET, right, which is just, they call that a spirits, but ET is spirits in nature, and they unify, like the word yoga is, is to unify, which is one form, which is to, which is union. So that ET, that ET, that when you see that ET there, yeah, that's gonna take you, that's gonna take you here, right? That's gonna take you there, right? And the reason that that's gonna take you there is because when you have the word, when you have an ET, when you have ET, right? ET is actually the twenty seventh letter of the alphabet, but nobody, like, nobody realizes it because the twenty seventh letter of the alpha's alphabet is AM, ampersand. Now AM is alpha male. Alpha male is AM, which is amino, which is ammunition, which is ammo, which is spirit force, which is why five and nine interchangeable. And another video, I'm going to show you exactly how deep that 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 goes in terms of that five and nine and why they are so um why they are so uh, in so so how they intertwine so deeply yeah how that actually manifests and how that actually takes take um to, uh, takes place right so as long as you can as long as you can see my board here which you can right so the 27th letter is the ampersand and the ampersand starts off as an et and then it as time's gone on, as it transmutes itself into the and, because it's the 27th letter, because it's and. And what is and? And is pulling I plus, plus that and I am and, yeah? So it's the more and more of the all of everything, yeah? And, and that's why it's called amper, ampersand, ampersand. And it's, it, it derives and it starts as an ET, ET. Like an, an, it's an extra. So this is the extra, extra letter, yeah. So when you take one word, you put another word to it. You gotta have the and, and the ampersand in the middle because that is the force that pulls things together. Yeah, it's ampersand, right? So this is the board that I didn't get to do. So here, you have, right? You have terra, terra, right? Terra, on terra. Because this is terra, terra matter, which you're gonna you're just gonna show in a minute, right? So this is a terra right here, right? And um, terra matter, right? So on terra matter, you have uh, on terra matter, right? It's a terra on terra on terra, right? But you see, you have a terra firma, which is this plate. It's firm, fixed, solid, immovable, yeah. So, but firm, you can just see that's been knocked off there. <laughs> firm, a mirror. Firm, a mirror, right? So, this is, you are within a mirror reality. And mirrors 
have always been used. It's why uh, it's, it's why uh, the Bloody Mary was done. I think it's thirteen times. Yeah, and the Romans, you always if you break a mirror, it's seven years bad luck because this is this this is um, she's the leader of the seven. Earth Mother is seven. Yeah, yeah, which is which is the seven, which is which is what Earth is because she's the core, the core of the seven, which is the seven. Uh, seven heavenly bodies, right? So, roll nine six nine six. Roll is nine is three nine six. So the roll to roll, you gotta have three nine six. So to roll, you have to have this spirit vector. You can't roll anywhere without that spirit vector, right? And to roll, you need a four to create a roll. And inside of a four, you will find hour. And in hour, you will find you will find six three nine so you you are our we're yeah you know, right it's our our this is our thing this is our earth our is nine our goes straight our goes we'll take you straight back to nine forward to move forward see forward it is four these vibrations all can add up to the vibrational frequency of four of the four i'm going to be showing on the screen how important the four is to this place and what it does what it means to this place the nines and the fours. Even the Super Bowl game finished on, it was I think it was nine, thirty-one nine or something like that. And the guy, uh, he's, they call him the weekend or something. And I think his birthday broke down to the nine, or to twenty or something like that. Yeah, the numbers were there. Yeah, the numbers that I speak about were were, were in there. And they're going to continually grow to the point where nobody will be able to to, to say it, to be you were shocked and all going, what is going on with this? <laughs> Why is it like it's because it's speaking to you, letting you know. I had enough of this now. We, we need to move this, keep this thing moving. I'm, I am who I am here. I'm real. Yeah. You're, you're living in an illusion that, an illusion that um, expels me and I'm the core of everything. Like that. Right. So that's why I was saying about you cry here when I was just talking about the CRs here. Right. Which is you cry from your crown. You have to cry from your crown. And you will cry crystals when you cry. When you cry, you will cry crystals. Yeah, and that's why you, you see, and you, and you have a crypt, and in a crypt, people have been crying around, around that crypt. Yeah, around that crypt. Right. And so that's why that's in there. And inside of and inside of and inside of crypt, you will can get scripture is residing inside of that inside of that crypt. You have scripture scripture or scripture which is a scripture is is really it's actually a, a script yeah this is uh, which is what that is this is what um, i bought it a little while ago so then you have mother spirit father matter because they're just intertwine intertwine and dance yeah intertwine and dance but this is how i said er here which i'll put it on because er you'll see the the music it's a royal cipher because it's fives and nines because fives and nines it's the spirit forces that manifest this physical life. You are only moving because of fives and nines. If we were at fives and nines, you wouldn't be here. And that's why you always find father, mother, brother, sister, father. Yeah, that's why you find ER. Jupiter, yeah, that's how, it's, how it is. Jupiter. Yeah. Fraudster. That's that's why that is, which is why I've been saying about the ERs and the IRs for a long, long, long time now. And that's why phone, phone, because there's IR, IR in there, irritate. This is the force, it's error, which is the force below the lower planes. We're going to talk about in a minute the lower planes, which is the IRs, which is the heat, which is the force that will pull you down, yeah? And, the, and it resides within your iron, right? Like that's which is how that is which is in your blood so you need to get you've got to create the, the right conditions to create the erection inside of this this eight here but this is why this the three is residing within the eight because this number 64 we've been going on about which is key yeah yeah it's the six and the four the 64 which is this which is the, which is the, the frequency of the physical physical plane which is a cube yeah and it manifests itself through these three forces, which is this three. And that's why when you see on this other board, eight times eight will take you back to 64. Because you've got the double matter cross, doubled up, 
gives you this 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 universe that you are residing within now and inside of that you are a temple and the temple is two it takes two to have a temple yeah and that's why to make your tea is really like this one and two together they join up and sprout up to create one which is the third force as you can see there and that's why you have temper and temperature which is key yeah which is key because it's the heat which is life which is life right and so tetra which we're going to be looking at because the which we're going to be looking at on here right the tetra the hexagonal tetra which we're going to look at in a second right tetra in greek is four which is telling you that the earth is a four right and that's how, which is how that is panning out and that one there so what we're going to do is move straight onto the onto this next one A disc yeah so here this one a disguise if you watch this now right disguised disguised discovery di to die spirit and matter this is disguised yeah and disguised is disguised in the game of on the seven, which is this plane. Because up here, yeah, up here, inside of this, you've got, you find a hyperboloid. And it's up there, you will find this seven, this seven. So the earth has the, the stir, this serpent force running directly through it, through it. Because she is, your mother is a serpent, right? Yeah. At that, right, at that center pole, center pole here, right? So, and that's where the magnetic fields come spewing back out from. And the sun is coming from. So here, she's disguised as the seven. Disguised side of the seven. And that's why disguised has a vibrational frequency. All these words here add up to this, come back, take you back to this seven, which you hang yourself in the seven scepter. But you make a disguised, a disguised discovery. Yeah? The, this, disc, disc, yeah? Cove, E R A, -E, which was sixty six, because it's sixty six here, and on the outside of this sixty six, and outside of this sixty six, you will get the twelve. The twelve, yeah. Now those twelve rulers, yeah, are then governed by a silent thirteenth. But that then. If I did take away one of those, so the inner disguised disc, disc covery, you would get 13, which will take you back to four. But even more than that, this disguised discovery, which is seven, and then it is a seven, right? With perfection, cleanliness. But then you've got discovery, which is the 66, yeah? which is hyperforce, sexual force, coming together, interaction to create a 66 cube, which has the 12 angles to it, which you used to do a couple of years ago, right? That is telling you, clean, that you live within a cube. And you, within that center of that, within the core center of that cube is a disc, which is this disc. And on this disc, you have to create and make a dis disguise discovery. The discovery is this disguised one because the, the invisible worlds are more vast than the visible world, which is the which is the world that you've been encased within. But now we are starting to now work with the plasma and the fifth force, fifth force, yeah, which is because it, we are becoming more conscious of it. And that's why I'm saying to you, when you I can flip my day, my daily, how I feel into a state of total tranquil and a heavenly heavenly state within only a few minutes because what they what the plasma fields do so something like the zinc for the zinc fields for example they set the environment within your your vessel so to create a battery you have to have, I'll, give you, I'll give you a clue the first batteries are created by copper and cathode and anode using copper and zinc what do we use to create to capture to create magnetic fields you use copper and zinc but not in their accelerated state not in the nano state yeah they are in 
but when it's in the nano, you see, you get nano from wood also. But we will, we'll get into all that, right? I'm not dealing with plasma at the minute today because I've, I've got to do this, right? So the disguise discovery takes you straight back to that one. It takes you straight back to that one. And then you see that the earth, the earth, 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 yeah, is a, is a earth, yeah, it takes you back to one, which is spirit. So on here, you make this disguise discovery and you see in this disc, it's layered. It's layered. It's a layered, it's a layered disc, right? That's how this, the sound comes through via zeros and ones. And the zeros and ones are captured in fours. It's called a zero point, something, I don't know, it's not right. They're captured in fours and that's what manifests the sound, manifest, manifests the light, yeah, through laser. But it works, this disc is layered. And what happens is, it's, it speeds up as you, come, as you come outwards here, it speeds up. So there's something in the center that slows it down here to keep it balanced, which is the same as how this place works, which is same as how you work. So every time we keep coming back, we keep coming back close towards the center here and everything keeps slowing down. When, it's, when it slows down, as, as we slow down, we become in, we're heading back towards our perfected state because every plasma field goes all the way out and then returns back to the source. And that's what's happening here. And that's has, that is what is being hidden. That's what has been hidden, right? So the, the earth, uh, the, I read a post long ago saying that a level playing field, a level, a level playing field, if you were taught at school, if we taught this in schools, and said so that, right, so what's a level, level playing field? The reason we say level playing field, because it means that everything, everybody gets a fair equal chance to, to thrive. If I take that away from your consciousness, you will not realize you will not recognize that as the full forerunner, live and let live. So you don't recognize where you are. Yeah, you don't, we don't know where, where you are for that, for that reason, right? So for me, well, I started in, in 2014, I was working on this alkaline thing with the, with the body thing and, this, and, this, and the soul thing and the energy thing that way. And then I met a guy in a chip shop when I was working and he was a Greek guy and he was telling me that earth was flat. And I knew, I heard, I heard stuff from already before that, 2014, because obviously it's in the Bible and stuff like that, right? And I heard that. Yeah. And then after that, I, I then heard, I then heard Santos mention it, yeah. And I, I then heard Santos Bonacci mention it, yeah, right? Because I was li listening to Santos for many, 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 many years prior, prior, to, prior to that, uh, uh, because I, re I resonated with him because I was already doing this work because I've been doing it for, for about 20 odd years or something, right? Yeah, yeah, so things that he resonated with, I resonate with, even though I hadn't even spoken to him, right? That's crazy, yeah? And then he, he started, and then when I seen him saying, talking about it as well, after that, I'd, I'd already re been researching it, and then I seen, he, he was saying, look, he, he was getting kind of distraught because he couldn't believe that, he'd, that we had missed it because the workings of the ecliptic and everything works much better on that model. So if you look at something like uh, Ptolemy and etc., it was just basically letting you know that this is how, it, from a wise, intelligent perspective, this is the way that things were. But we had been deceived and put down this track. So I, I had seen it and I'd already seen it through somebody telling me about it, who I was having a d debate with in 2014. And then it came up into fruition. I was like, whoa, this is so that, the reason I'm saying that to you, because what we are living within here, this, this is like a, a movie. It's a movie. You just don't realise it. You don't realise the depth of what I'm saying to you. And I say to you that it is an unfolding movie and you are a part of it. You are walking around, but there's mannequins. These characters are mannequins, yeah? You're walking around them. Like, imagine you're walking around this set. You're walking around the set and everything's stuck, but you're, the, you're moving. You're going, look at this. This is a movie set. Look at this movie set. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. And that's what's that's what's going on, and that's what will come to more to fruition as we as we keep as we keep moving and moving forward, yeah. Because as we keep moving moving forward, what's happening is is this force has been is emanating from the center of this of this disc, like this, right? Which is a level playing field. Because the word level level, which I have on on the on the other board here, you will see that level level itself, yeah. We just go straight to that. Level is level eleven. So to get level, to get level, to get level, you got to go to level eleven. But then, but then level, level, 
right? It is, it's the only word that goes back on itself. So no matter which way I take this, if I go that way with it, level, go that, go whichever, whichever way I wanna go with it, right? You are still always gonna get level. So if I reverse it back, back that way, read it in reverse, it will say level, read it this way, it say level, because level is telling you that within itself that level is even. That is what it's, it's saying to you. And if you take away the light, do you see, you know what, when I just said to take away the light, it's because L is the light. So if, an L is the third force. So if I take away the third force, I'm gonna get evil, 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 yeah? And you can see the E, the E is in there. It's evening, yeah, Eve, right? And that's why, so you get evening named after Eve, Eve, but the, the, the say, so Eve is, they call it Eve as darkness, yeah? It's a feminine in the night, right? So plasma, and then you see you get a plasma, plasma playing field, filed. Field is 33, again. But f field is filed. Phi is phi, which is seven, eight, nine, which is phi, which is this, which is this, this, this place is, is, is all working with phi, yeah? It's all working with phi. The field, the movement in the field, the vortex is in the phi, phi motion. Yes, that is, that's how it, how it works. Yeah, that's how it goes, which is the movement of a, of a, of a, of a whirling dervish, yeah? So that's how that goes. But then this 64, this 64 is key. You've got 64 numbers in the chessboard, 64 in the I Ching. You have, there's, there's so much, so we'll put it on the, on the screen anyway, so you can see there's so much. Even Mary, Mary, Mary died, she died at 64. 64 codons in your uh, DNA, right? But the, the 64, as I said earlier, is Brahma, Brahma discs, discs of gold. 64 yeah we're gonna wrap this one up now but you see that there you have six 64 discs of gold right this was at the i think it's hanai a hanai temple right but it's mythology but really it's real and you'll see it on here i'll put it on here and that's how the seven levels because this is a seven level layering just like a flower on unravels itself and it unlayers itself when I go up on the astral, when I go up on the astral, that's what I see is layers unfolding, unraveling, unraveling. You unravel yourself up in layers. And this is this is a, a lesser lower layer, light layer. But they don't want you to know about this disc because what happens is below this, below this is the error. If you make an error here, then you will go down into the lower, lower planes, right? And then in, in sending in, in, in um, some deep occult, in, not in, in Gnosticism, right, will tell you that you're, all you hear is gnashing and grinding of teeth, yeah, when you embark upon evil, evil on this plane, yeah, then you, the game, you, then game doesn't end, end here. After you, you come out of limbo, then you will go down into the lower, lower, lesser planes than this one, which there are seven lesser, lower planes. If we knew this, then people would look towards themselves in a more sympathetic nature. Now, magnetism works through sympathy. It's a sympathizer. So it, we don't, this is why we don't know it, because it doesn't work for us, because we have no sympathy towards, of, towards another, yeah? So I'll just finish on that board there. So that's why you have the 64. Eight times eight will give you the 64, yeah? 64, 64 first, which is what I was reading earlier, 64 first in the Bhagavad Gita, yeah, right, and but and then 64 books and the chessboard. Check this out a chessboard, you have the king and the queen. The queen she goes 360 degrees. Why is that? Because at the center of this place is her force, she's moving 360 degrees like this 360 degrees, right? Yeah, but what actually happens is on a chessboard, you have it's 64 squares on it, but it goes up 64 and L 64, stop 64 across, eight and eight across. Eight above, eight up, eight like this. So eight this way, eight that way on the chessboard. And they're playing, this is a, this is a chessboard because what is happening here, you're having a disco. There's a disco. There's what happens on the disco. Does a disco not happen on the dance floor? A disco happens on the dance floor, does it not? Yeah, this is a disc, this is the dance floor. 
and there's a disco disco taking place on the dance floor and the 64 which is which is so hypersex right which is there and that's why writing in red writing in red is always seen as undesirable because each one hand is positive the other one is negative but it's undesirable for you to access negative magnetism and negative magnetism carries the label of red she's red in your sexual region she's seen as negative as being bad but negative is positive and that is that is the key principle um, of, of things so what we'll do is we're gonna we'll pretty much end it end it on this one and what we'll do is probably do a part two or something else um, but this the, but the knowledge is is limitless because we are limited just one more thing that has to be put in there Venus is nine Venus is nine right and Venus's cycle Venus's orbit is two two five days which is also nine but two two five is also 2025 so watch out for 2025 right yeah that's when this will end that's what we're looking at right so the chromosome 64 codon in the chromosome right 64s 64s there when we work this is the key word so when you go on the internet you're catching your internal into a net when they're watching Netflix, you're flix, as you're flicking, flicking, Netflixing, you're putting yourself into a net. This is what they're doing. This is bigger than spellcasting. These are, these are the big rituals that are taking place, right? And that's what's happening. So it's keeping you in that net, keeping you in that net. They've got to keep them in that net. And that's why things stick to a screen. Black screens, dust and dirt sticks to them. It's to do with the difference between the positive and negative ions. The positive ions are connected, attracted to the light, and that's why that happens. If you put water inside of rooms, water pulls away the positive charge out of the air because water, it's her water, she's negative, right? And that's why illusion is three because illusions are happening in the three. And that's why you, these ions are making you ill. Ill us ion. Ill, illusion is when you are being made ill by the ions because the ions are giving you the impression that you are to be irritable, angry, yeah? That's what's happening with the positive ion charge. That is what it does. And we'll put that on the screen as well so, you, so, that, so, that, so that can be seen. And that's why DNA, DNA goes back to one, which is, as I said, which is spirit. It's all here. So it depends what you're having your sex for. Depends what you're having your sex for. Are you having your sex for love or are you having your sex to create sex magic? Are you having your sex so that all each one of your cells has its own name which is can be smith let's call it smith and each smith is having gonna have sex with another with another smith right and the dna is that's why they're intertwined in order to bring about this 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 white and gold plus this white and gold plasma light yeah but it has to be done in the correct the conduct has to be correct yeah very important that's why i have to put this back on to redo this board so dna is one yeah the key which is dna is one d four n five a one dna that takes you back to one right and in your dna you have the 64 codons and you have 46 chromosomes yeah see you can't get away from this can't get away from it right and an electric 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 yeah it breaks down into the cell trick cell tricks so there's tricks happening in your cells you're, you're, this is what's happening. You've got cell tricks. And you're inside of a cell. This is a cell. And in, and, and in this cell, there are tricks happening within this particular cell. And inside of, you are the micro or the macro. And inside of, inside of your universe, there is also, there is also cell tricks taking place. Where people are standing around um, man-made man -made, uh, technology, man-made things and the man-made things are giving out extremely low uh, fields extremely low, um, extremely low frequency fields which cause disruption in your cells which cause disruption. it's a trick taking place yeah, constant tricks taking place within and it is only by attaining the light only by attaining the light yeah, that we are able to become the master of these tricks that are taking place with inside of the cell so yeah so this is this is where we're at right so abundance yeah happiness and ascension and light i'll see you on the next one